So then we are back with more understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services where we find the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yeshayahu the prophet. We find layers of understanding of the Spring Feast, the Aurum Feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Mashiach laid waste for many centuries. As we read the Yeshayahu the prophet, it's always important establishing a layer of understanding from Daniel and Revelation. Because during this time of the restoration period, there are obviously a few situations related with the trade, and trade is uh, led by China, and also tabernacling, led by the Kingdom of the South, the continent of Africa, mostly in the area of Ethiopia, and also the layer of understanding related with the Soviet Union. So, came out very important information on very reliable the BRICS post and it states very precisely on October the 6th regarding then the systems the Soviet systems for the protection of the Syrian geographical area so truly because of a dispute of these rebels they say and these are obviously the sons of Yishmael so then Daniel 11 it speaks of these sons of Yishmael thronging each other and these in the language of Gentile truly this is what it means so until they find their identity as the sons of Avraham and Hagar and she was from Mitzrayim, Egypt you find then these layers very pertinent for our time because the system of the West during the time of the second portion of the thousand years the West then mostly United States has then ruled many areas of the Mideast and during this portion of time related with the time of the restoration period then the Soviets are back as per Daniel 11 verse number 7 you find then the system related with the military was then granted for the Northern Kingdom so then the S-400 systems and also equivalent systems is then deployed for the protection of the forces of the Soviet Union in Syria so it's already showing you few of these understandings related with later on the Kingdom of the North coming with much equipment so there are the steps of formation related with the trade related with the military and related with tabernacling each of them is structurized as per the feasts of Vaikra the 23rd chapter so it was explained before that these main countries or kingdoms they are in a course precisely as per the instructions and because of the importance of Syria you find then these systems being deployed so then you can already have an understanding of a path from China until reaches the Holy Land or then precisely on latitude south of the Soviet Union so these systems very highly organized are being placed so then the prophecies related with Daniel and mostly related with time of the restoration period then gives us 
the understanding of delivering humanitarian aid to the civilian population. There is truly a point of doing this, but the main scenario is securing a place in the line from the Holy Land in China. This is truly what's behind of this decision. As far as Daniel 11 gives us also a few understanding of the system or then the weakened system of the West not because of its lack of capability but simply because the system in the West is worn and the system of the West unfortunately is not profitable as it used to be. So then China, the leader of the new trade system, already stated, for instance, on the 10th today, that China proposes BRICS direct trade with China. So it is truly amazing the lining up of these events. You find then China leading the trade. You find then the Soviet Union already making forward motion related with the military. And you find also tabernacling the understanding related with the temple and tabernacling. And these are obviously intertwined. From this point of view, Daniel shows us very precise steps of formation. And then France is taking a leadership regarding then the mediation from this nation because Europe is obviously lined up for a restoration or then restructuring of the religious aspect of Europe. Now at this point in time you find then that this restructuring is solely related with the Apocalypse or then Revelation. But there are sections of Daniel that speaks of remnants of the Roman Empire and these remnants are then being restructurized by France. So regarding then the trade of the end, China then is obviously very strong in Africa, the continent of Africa and the place beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, mostly Congo because of its natural resources, rare materials, truly is the last frontier related with the trade of the end. See, if there is a point, there is a, a rendezvous from the countries, is the rare materials industry. And whosoever gets there first and organizes, obviously they're going to use their money as a means of exchange. So then the trade in the area can start organizing itself. Now because of Daniel 11, it speaks of the weakened system being obviously set aside because of its natural weakening. But then later, explain that this system is then re-strengthened. So it shows you a few understandings of the economy of the West being restored to a certain level in Daniel 11, then the later chapters. Yeshiyahu gives us a few clues of the restoration period in the 65th 
chapter of this great prophet you find then a lining of Yeshayahu and Revelation later you find then Ezekiel related with Tabernacle and Revelation and you find Daniel and also lining up with Revelation and these are consistent so then the sons of Ishmael at this point in time truly they are not the trouble because Daniel 11 states they are going to be gathering in Egypt in any form or shape these people the sons of Ishmael they are going to gather in Egypt and then later the Chinese government is going to re-establish the Silk Road re-establishing the old roots of the great caravans of the past and then the Hamashiach ben Yosef obviously and he's very wise understanding of the scripture explained the feast of autumn as then the feast of Sukkah is coming or then the celebration of the birth of the representative of yod he vav -He. and then later we understand why he said what he said in Medjitiyahu the 24th chapter because it englobes or then involves these understandings mostly of Daniel and then the nations of the world preparing itself for the launching of the Chinese system but prior of these we find then the strengthening of the system of the West so either China or the Soviets if they get a hold of the continent of Africa and organize the rare materials industry then truly would be the extinction of this Western system so because of the integrity of the holy instructions it gives us few hopes related with these particular layer of understanding of the place beyond the rivers of Ethiopia and the re-strengthening of the western weakened system so later on I'm going to evaluate more of the situation related then with the latest news and Daniel the chapter 11 and also chapter 12 so please stay tuned much more coming up